It's that time again for Pokemon news. So this morning I woke up with a couple of uh, Pokemon rumblings. So what I mean by rumblings is Joe Merrick was tweeting a lot. And usually when Joe Merrick tweets a lot, fighting with people because people don't know what they're talking about. And Joe Merrick does because he runs Cerebi. So it's a very trusted uh, website. So I wouldn't argue with him. But we'll go over here and I see this. This is the first thing I wake up to. It's been 38 minutes and I've already been called a shill multiple times because I corrected their misinformation. I think that's a new record. And I would say yes. I think that is a record because people are very fragile is the word I want to use for these new Pokemon games. Uh, but if you go over to the uh, Pokemon website, uh, we see some fresh new information. Uh, and I like like Pokemon news. So let's start with Pokemon Home, because there's an update. Um, Alright, sorting the your Pokemon in the mobile version of Pokemon Home is about to become easier. Well, thank you, because it wasn't the best. I mean, it was, it was good, it's a Pokemon bank, but... As long as it helps us. So let's see. Look forward to the new catch calendar. Enhanced Pokedex features. And two special Pokemon. That Pokemon Home users. <sighs> as well as Pokemon Sword and Shield players. Will be able to receive in the mystery gift. Okay. So we get. A new feature and a Pokemon for Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Exciting. Okay. The Catch Calendar feature allows you to view your Pokemon arranged by the dates on which you caught them. It's exciting. Kind of. This will let you relive memories from your adventures, such as the date you caught your first Pokemon on the date you finally added... Uh, a powerful legendary Pokemon on your team. You can also set specific dates as anniversaries, such as your birthday or a day you first met a Pokemon that has become special to you. Uh, I mean, it's for someone, okay? It, it's not for everyone, but it, it's for someone. And I, I can't, I can't complain even though it doesn't, like, seem good to me. It's, it's for someone, so let's, let's continue. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the updated Pokedex introduces the ability to view Pokemon registered to your Pokemon Home Pokedex for from different angles. I wonder what that means. You'll be able to get a better look at your Pokemon partners, and you might even get, uh, discover some details that you never noticed before. So this is interesting to me, because a few, I want to say like a couple months ago, or maybe a few weeks ago, I'm not sure how far, but I know there was uh, some controversy over Pokemon Home basically not being compatible with older uh, iOS and Android devices. And uh, this kind of makes me wonder that, or makes me think that this is the reason why. Because you have these new features and they're going to, to use more of the modern specs of devices nowadays. Uh, so it would make sense that this is, this is why. Because if they update it, uh, Clearly, older phones aren't going to be able to run it because, you know, maybe the the card or the, the chip inside or the, the graphic or processor isn't going to process it correctly. Assuming I assume I'm assuming that this is what they're talking about, like maybe they're adding new 3D features. I'm not entirely sure uh, to top things off. These new features are being commemorated with special Bulbasaur and Squirtle. Well, we have Bulbasaur and we have Squirtle. Um, 
You'll be able to receive them as mystery gifts, uh, both mobile and Pokemon Home, and your Pokemon Sword and Shield game. What makes these two beloved Pokemon so remarkable is that they carry the giant Gigantamax factor. So, before you, I, I'm pretty sure you had, because I only, I only have the Charmander. I never really bothered with Bulbasaur or Blastoise, even though they look cool. I didn't really go through the whole uh, Gigantamax Mushroom or whatever those were called. But these, these will already come w with them. And I believe the best part about this is I'm pretty sure you can breed them to have a Gigantamax factor. I may have to read the, re read up on that again. Um, so that's a Pokemon Home news. That's not super exciting, but that is pretty cool. Some of the new features, especially especially the the anniversary. Uh, let's go to Diamond and Pearl. So we got a new release date. Uh, we had the release window for both games, and both of them now have a release date. And I'm pretty sure if you scroll down. You have the box arts. And they, they're kind of different. A little bit. And the one thing I'm a little disappointed about these box arts. Is. And I, and maybe I, we can't see them yet. We don't know yet. But if you look at the older. Box arts. They're kind of sparkly. They kind of have like, like that little. Holographic art. That I kind of wish that uh, these games had, but they look cool. I mean, they're they're pretty cool for what they are. And then you have the double pack, which I think I'm going to get. I don't need to, but I think I am. Don't ask me why. I just I just am. But yeah, that's pretty cool. No new no new information. Just a release date and the uh, box art. Um, that I know of. We might... Let me double check this real quick. Nope, same trailer. Okay. Uh, we might get more information before E3. Everyone keeps saying something's gonna happen with that, so I don't know. Uh, and then we'll go over to... Legends Arceus, and we have January 28th, 2022. Pretty sure this is the same old trailer as well. Yeah, this is the same old trailer. Okay. Um, It's nice. I like this. I'm, I'm super excited for this. Th this one has a lot... Well, bo they both have controversy behind them. But this one has the biggest controversy because it's first time Pokemon's ever been like fully like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild uh, open world and the thing about it is the first trailer that they showed off didn't turn any heads uh, now clearly you have new mechanics new games but like the open world just seemed empty some of the animations were a little choppy uh, and a lot of people didn't think that uh, Game Freak would be ready for this but it's been a while. We haven't gotten any news. I know I know they're hard at work on this game. I don't know if there's crunch. I'm not entirely sure. This is a whole different, you know, this is a, a company in Japan. They do things differently over there. I'm not saying it's acceptable. I'm just saying that's that's sometimes how they run things. Um but they're they're hard at work. I think I think this is an acceptable release window. Uh, well, at least until I see another trailer. If we see another trailer and that game looks like it's improving, then this is an acceptable window. If it still looks the same as it did before, then we might need to to push it back. Cause I like, but thing about Nintendo and Pokemon in general is that we we never had a a delayed release. So I know. This is going to be okay. Uh, do I think they will delay it even if it's the same as before? I don't think so. But we don't know. Uh, 
But I I want it. I'm excited for it. I, I'm on board. I don't hate it. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. So that's my views on it. And that's what what happened this morning. Now, this is the first time I did a Pokemon thing. So let me... Or any kind of news thing. And I'm rambling. So let me know how you guys think of my first news update. I might be doing more. Yeah.